So any VR enthusiasts out there have had a positively spooge-worthy start to the week. HTC's massive ViveCon 2021 export is in full flow, and on day one they have launched not one but two fresh new VR headsets, the Vive Pro 2 and the Vive Focus 3. The Vive Pro 2 is an innovative PC VR headset that'll empty your wallet to the tune of 719 quid, but also blow your bollocks off with its stunning 5K 120Hz visuals. Meanwhile, the Focus 3 is an all-in-one standalone VR headset similar to that Oculus Quest 2, but this one is aimed at business users rather than consumers. So here's the full skinny from day one of ViveCon 2021, although we're going to concentrate specifically on the Vive Pro 2 as that is the consumer headset, which hopefully I'll have strapped my baldy bonds for a full review soon. And for more on the latest greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! So the HTC Vive Pro 2 is your typical tethered PC VR headset, but it's very similar design to the original Vive Pro. Once again, should prove surprisingly comfortable even for extended virtual reality sessions. You've got a well-balanced device that's quite lightweight, very well padded and fully adjustable to suit skulls of all shapes and sizes. The big whoop with the Vive Pro 2 is definitely that IPS LCD screen, which HTC has big up as the best-in-class VR display right now. Now for one, this offers a nice wide 120 degree field of view thanks to the dual stacked lens design. That's obviously particularly important if you're blasting your way through action games where you want to be spotting any sneaky bloody enemies creeping up on you from your peripheral vision. And HTC has promised that the Vive Pro 2's display will serve up nice crisp clear images all the way to the very edges as well as doesn't cheat by blurring things around the periphery. But even more impressive and the real reason to upgrade to the Vive Pro 2 if you've already got a PC VR headset is the 5K fidelity. You've got a 4890 by 2448 pixel resolution so you should get next to no screen door effect at all which often plagues VR visuals and sort of takes you out of the experience and on top of that you've also got support for 120 hertz visuals for a super immersive experience it should be hyper realistic certainly compared with the offerings that we've got right now so you should hopefully notice an immediate difference when blasting your way through your current VR game library to the clarity and the smoothness where the quality of those graphics were previously held back only by the limitations of your VR hardware and let's face it, VR porn will never be the same again. You'll literally be able to see every single dimple and individual pube. What a world. And HTC got all chummy with NVIDIA and AMD to work on the display compression tech that the HTC Vive Pro 2 uses to produce all of those gorgeous, lovely 5K visuals in real time. And the good news is this is even backwards compatible with DisplayPort 1.2 as well, so the system requirements aren't too different from the standard original Vive Pro. You've once again got integrated high fidelity earphones that kind of flap down over your lugs and they are high res compatible with full support for 3D spatial sound. Now the good news for any existing HTC Vive Pro owners is that the HTC Vive Pro 2 is backwards compatible with the base station 1.0 and 2.0, all your existing controllers, cameras, all that good stuff. So all you'll need to do is buy the bit that sits on your face. And if you're literally gushing at the thought of a fresh new HTC Vive Pro 2, well, the good news is the pre-orders are open right now. And if you do dive in early bird, you will get a discount price of 659 quid. Otherwise, from June the 4th, the Vive Pro 2 will go on general sale. You'll be able to grab it direct from HTC, and that price will be 719 bob. Else, if you are completely new to the wonderful world of HTC Vive VR, you will be able to buy the complete package that comes with the headset, the base station 2.0 and the controllers. And that'll cost you £1,299, but it won't be available, unfortunately, until August the 4th. Bit of a bloody wait on that one. But HTC wasn't done there at ViveCon 2021. Business peeps are also getting themselves a new fresh all-in-one standalone headset in the Vive Focus 3, which has dual 5K IPS screens with a 90Hz refresh rate, plus immersive audio via the strap speakers, with a special leakage mode to cancel out that sound for any others around you, kind of like a reverse ENC. Now the HTC Vive Focus 3 is powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon XR2 chipset, just like that other standalone VR headset that we all know and love, the Oculus Quest 2, which by the way, I've reviewed right here on Textbook. If you want to check that out, go, go have a bit of a squint at that one. But of course, the Vive Focus 3 offers much sharper visuals, and you've got a much sleeker design here as well. HTC has actually built the battery into the back end of the Vive Focus 3 to help balance out that weight, and it is actually a swappable battery as well, which is quite handy if you're going to have your headset on the go all day long in your place of business. The Vive Focus 3 comes with custom controllers with rechargeable batteries, and HTC is also working on its own hand tracking system as well, which is something that we've of course seen emerge on that Oculus Quest 2. And there's even SD card support as well, so you can actually stick some custom content on that and you can use that to drive the headset. 
And the HTC Vive Focus 3 will be coming on June the 24th for a not inconsiderable price of 1060 quid, so a bit more expensive than that Oculus Quest 2, of course. But of course, this is a business headset first and foremost, and at least you don't have to spaff all your deals at Facebook, which is always a bonus. So all right, there is just a run-through of the fresh new HTC Vive Pro 2 and Vive Focus 3, which were launched on day one of the ViveCon 2021. How many times did I say Vive in this video? If you were taking a shot every time I did, you're probably absolutely planned. Lasted. But definitely really excited to check out that Vive Pro 2. I should hopefully bring you a full review very shortly. It's a good excuse to dust off Half-Life Alex once again. But it'd be great to hear your own thoughts on the Vive Pro 2 down below as well. Please do plug subscribe, do that notifications bell, all the usual YouTube guff, and have yourselves a fantastic rest of the week. Cheers everyone. Love you.